Hi friends, I'm Lado Ochotnikov. At the moment we are preparing a line of different products that can be purchased both physical and virtual versions. Virtual goods are valuable in the economy of our metaverse. In the near future we plan to launch a program of status NFTs for which royalty bonuses will be paid. And the source for these bonuses will be just the turnover of our products. I already described this in a video about royalty NFT. In addition, I described the product fund in the presentation of the classic program. Sources from this fund are used to create our products. Someone spread a fake on this topic, either out of ignorance or inattentively studies the royalty NFT and classic program. Or perhaps this is deliberate misinformation due to which there was a distorted discussion of the issue of withdrawing crypto from the fund's smart contract. Of course funds must be withdrawn because they are used to create our expensive products. Fund resources are not enough for this, much more is spent on creating products. But according to the fake version, this fund should not be withdrawn, because supposedly it should be distributed to holders of status NFTs. Probably someone believed that products uh, should somehow appear free of charge on their own, or it does not fit in their head at all. The product foundation will be abolished in a modernized update. The 25% fee for cancelling auto reactivation and auto upgrade will remain, but will be sent to the upline. For the marketing plan needs to leave this lever. The cancellation should not be just like that, but we will not be collecting them for the product fund. Firstly, they are not enough. And secondly, we do not need these misunderstandings. Some look for metaphors, flaws and paths of their mistakes as revelation. And by the way, the pseudo whistleblowers mixed up the contracts. The fund's contract, which is temporarily receiving a 25% fee for cancellation, has a different address, ends in 5F8E. And the address they show ends with D931. This is inner fund. This is the so-called income ID number zero which is all projects always took ID number one for itself. And we will continue to allocate this part of the income for the development of our innovative products. Royalty NFT is much bigger. What are you going to distribute from the product fund? Can't you see the number of participants? Go to the SFC smart contract. There are already almost half a million holders. This is the number of our participants. If not for the difficulties at the start, I'm sure that we would already have more than a million participants. But we are fixing everything and our development will be more global. Allocations for royalty NFTs should be very generous and the value of the NFTs themselves should be as high as possible. At first they will be easy to get and upgrade. Then they will become more and more complicated. These are very privileged tokens. Income for them is formed from the global turnover of the product. No one has ever seen such royalty bonuses in our industry. It stands out as generously as possible from the turnover, plus we are expanding the target audience because the NFT format allows you to simply buy, upgrade and sell them. We are with you. Force.